Hello, it's Emma from Potter and Bloom and today I am going to do a video tutorial for this amazing stitch. This is called the Vertical Scallop Stitch. It's really wonderful. I think that it looks like perfection and yet it's only a one, a single row repeat, which I love. I love those stitches. So grab yourself some yarn and a corresponding hook. I am using Aran weight yarn. I'm using Cascade 220 today and a five millimeter hook. You can use any yarn or hook that you like. And just so that you know, if I say it now, then I won't forget, I am British and I use UK crochet terminology, which is different from US crochet terminology. So what I do is I work my tutorial in UK terminology, but I will have both the UK and the US pattern written out on my blog, which will be linked below. So you can chain in however many you require. And the first thing that we're going to do is work three trebles into the fourth chain from the hook. So that's this one here. And we're going to work three trebles. One. Two. And three. Okay. We're going to skip two chains. And in the next chain, we're going to work one double crochet. We're then going to chain three and skip three and then we're going to work three trebles into the next stitch. Okay, then we're going to skip two and work one DC into the next. We should have something like that. And then we're going to do it all over again. Chain three and skip three and three trebles. Okay, skip two and one double crochet. Chain three. Skip three and three trebles. Okay, and when you get to the end, you will have three stitches left. You skip two and you work your final double crochet in that last stitch. And you should have something that looks like that. So now you're going to chain three and turn your work. Okay, now we're going to do exactly the same pattern and we're going to start with the first three trebles into the last DC, the last double crochet that you worked. So the stitch that you worked in the last stitch of the previous round, and it is the double crochet that's at the base of your chain three, and you work your three trebles into there. Okay, so you work your three trebles into there and then you work a double crochet in the chain three space. You chain three and you do it all over again. Three trebles in the double crochet. One double crochet. Oop. One double crochet in the chain three. 
space. Chain three, three trebles, one double crochet in the chain three space. Chain three, three trebles. And then you work your final double crochet underneath the beginning chain three. And that's it, chain three. and turn and your work will look like that. It has a tendency to concertina so when you're working your stitches it will sort of look like this but when you block it out it stretches out and flattens and looks rather lovely. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye!